Well, hello everyone and welcome to this Python um, slash pandas trick. And here it's all about lists in data frames and how we can basically um, extract them, if you want to call it this way. So let, let me actually show you the example. Here I have a data frame created simply by using a dictionary. And this dictionary has, in this case, a column name, and then it has values inside, right? For instance, here it has to buy, then different kinds of items here, and then the options for those items. And I already imported pandas and also used PD as an abbreviation, so I can call pd.dataframe here. So if I now use this, let's actually take a look at that, df.head, and call it this way. And if I press Shift Enter in the Jupyter Notebook here, I can see I got my to buy column and I got the options. Right here, for instance, I got energy drinks, and then I got monster, rockstar, and rain as examples here, and I got fruits. And here I got Apple and Banana as examples, and I got Ice Cream, and here I got Ben and Jerry's, Reese's, and Hagen Dazs. Okay, so far so good. Now, a common problem is that if you have a data frame like that, a list, which you currently have here, here and here, so in the second column, is actually not what you want. You actually want to explode this list, and explode is exactly the keyword which you're going to need. Because we have the option in pandas to call the explode function, and then create separate rows for each of those different kinds of entries in here. Let me show it to you. If I here use df, in this case, dot explode, like that, and I've called it this way, and then on explode needs one argument, which is the column name. In our case, we want to explode the column options. So if you type in quotations, you can use double quotes or single quotes, doesn't matter. But if you type in options here, and if you now press shift enter, you see what we get. So basically, we have split now the list in each of those rows into several rows. Like, right? of course, for energy drinks, then we get three entries in here. For fruits, two, and for ice cream again, three. But now we have them as single values in here instead of lists. Okay, and that's it. So thanks for watching, and I can't wait to see you for the next trick. Until then.